everybody. Tony Schiavone, Paul White. Welcome to a very special edition of Elevation coming to you on a Thursday night. And that's because tomorrow night, the first dance in Chicago at the United Center. Rampage on TNT at 10 o'clock, 9 Central. And Paul, what a night it's going to be, the first dance at United Center. First dance at the United Center. This is going to be the largest crowd the AEW has had yet to date. The United Center, the roof is going to get blown off the building. We're going to have one hell of a rampage coming straight to you. And we're going to have one hell of a show tonight. Let's go to the ring for our first match. The opening contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 426 pounds, Santana and Ortiz. Wow, what a tag team. Man, you talk about tough, gritty, talented, young, hungry. How many more adjectives can I use, Tony? Got them all. And for their opponents, let's go back to Dodge Gonzalez. And their opponents at a grind weight of 405 pounds, Warren Johnson and Zach Mason. Warren Johnson, Zach Mason. Zach Mason looks like a pretty big boy. Yes, he does. He's a uh, good athletic build. I wonder if he's got an amateur background. Well, you know, that, that's a good question because there's a lot of wrestlers who come from amateur wrestling backgrounds, Paul, but there's a lot that do not. And, and sometimes that, that's a question. Is it better to have wrestled high school collegiately and then try to pro ranks, or is it just good being a fighter or just a great athlete? I think right now it doesn't matter. Right now you want to be a fighter. But I think in all serious, wow, nice leg trip. Good kick to the back of the head. Um, I think you're going to have some kind of an athletic background. You just like we talk about that wide vertical base is so important. Right. You learn that in basketball, wrestling. Wow, what a super kick. Man, we got a fight on the floor and a fight here in the ring as Ortiz goes down. Johnson over the top. Look and at that drop kick Ortiz threw in there. Man, Ortiz. You know, you talked about talented, but, but also let's talk about their background, how tough and how difficult it was for them to make their way all the way to AEW. It really, really was. Well, the last time we saw them was that incredible bloody battle with FTR. Yeah, oh boy, was that ever a bloody battle. Absolutely. And they look healthy and good and firing on all cylinders right now. Certainly a part and a mega part of the inner circle. Uh, as a matter of fact, they are charter members and there's a great Double team move. Standing move salt that time by Santana. I'm telling you, Santana makes it look so easy. Got a two count that time, and Mason makes the save. Yeah, big Zach Mason came in with that club across the back of the night. That's a nice little do si -do there by Santana. And a drop kick to the face for your troubles. Santana looking the wrong way. Picked up this time by Johnson. Santana yeah. lands on his feet. Great tag is made. Look at this. Great Sensational tag team. teamwork. Work together, patience. Almost like a ripcord. And into a great double team. Looked like a Samoan drop into a cutter. Whoa. Six. Nice dive. One, two, three. No winners of this match. Santana and O. And I'm telling you, Tony, Santana and Ortiz look sharp tonight. I mean, the communication, the way they took it to Zach, the way they took it to Zach Mason and Warren Johnson was totally off the charts. Good job, Santana and Ortiz. God, they got so much energy. Love it. Here it is again, Paul. There's the replay here. Santana, that big dive out. Ortiz with the cover. Santana Ortiz continue their winning ways here in All Elite Wrestling.
celebrate. We've been winning so long. Maintain so strong. Others could hold on. Who's the champion? We're the champion. Next on Elevation, it's the native beast, Nyla Rose with Vicky Guerrero in singles competition. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Vicky Guerrero. From Washington, D.C., the native beast. Nyla Rose! Wow, you talk about vicious, heartless, powerful, and slightly crazy. There's Nyla Rose with Vicky Guerrero. <laughs> the native beast. She's something else, man. And Vicky is vicious as well. As a matter of fact, they are the vicious vixens, they like to call themselves. The vicious vixens? Yep. B squared. I'm digging it. B squared. I love it. Let's go back to Dasha. And her opponent already in the ring, accompanied by Ashley MK from Kingdom of Tonga, Seth MK. There's Steph, her sister Ashley's on the outside. The MK twins. All right. Good to see them here on elevation and well, I'll tell you, Steph has, man, Steph's, Steph's a big girl, too. This may be one of the, the biggest challenges for size-wise at Nyla's hand. Oh, absolutely. This is a great matchup. This, although this is Steph's first singles competition match here in AEW, it's a little bit different working singles with, versus tag, obviously. But then she's also in there with the Native Beast, who is just such a vicious powerhouse. A little while ago on Dynamite, past couple of weeks, uh, Native Beast had that incredible match with Kristen Statlander. Right. And just really showed what a tremendous, powerful athlete Kristen Statlander is and hitting that power bomb. Super impressive. Here's a pickup on Staff. Uh-oh. Yeah, we know what's coming we here. We know what's coming. And, you know, the thing about it is Nyla is so high impact, she gets to where you cannot have any defense against this. Oh, my oh, you God. You can't defend yourself. No. Well, that looked like it tore Steph's head off. Want to remind the fans, we'll be in Cincinnati at well, Fifth Third Arena Wednesday, September 8th. A little surprise here, Tony. A little surprise. There's a switch out right there. There's a switch out. Oh. Ashley, Ashley rolled in and Steph rolled out. I don't think Nyla Rose knows it, nor does the ref. No, and an inside it's pin. Of one, up. two. Oh. No. Well, that was close. Oh, and a big headbutt. Big headbutt. But Nyla taking the advantage once again to pick up. Oh, and the beast bomb. One, two, three. Boy, that beast bomb devastating. Here's your winner, Nyla Rose. We can get a replay, maybe catch that, Tony. When Steph got in trouble by Nyla Rose and almost got her neck torn off, they rolled out and switched partners. But right now, Steph is actually on the floor, and Ashley's the one taking the power bomb from the Native Beast. Wow. I think I, Nyla Rose is putting it together now. Yeah, I think there she was some tomfoolery going on. I think she realized, and now she's going to roll Steph into the ring. No one gets away for free. Vicky Guerrero doing her job. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, another oh. Native Beast bomb on. One twin on top of the other. Steph got power bombed on top of Ashley. That's just mean and rude. But they did get a free t-shirt. Did they get two or just one? Excuse me! Oh boy. I said excuse me! Yes, I gotta go AEW for the second shirt. This, this right here is 
preacher of strength. Excuse me! My client, Nyla Rose, is indestructible and unbreakable. All of you need to have a hard, long look at your reality because at the end of the day, broken Barbies get dumped in the trash. Oh, that was a little, a little angry, a little angry, a lot of anger. Oh, uncontrollable anger. But the native beast wraps this one up nicely with a pair of beast bombs. Welcome back to Elevation and welcome back to AEW Emmy Sakura in singles competition. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making her way to the ring from Chiba, Japan, Emmy Sakura. Now well, it's been a while since we've seen Emmy Sakura here in AEW. One of the real great performers from Japan has returned. Some, some little guy in my ear said it's been since 2019 since we've seen her here in wow. AEW. That's great to see her back. Has a very regal entrance. Very unique. I don't think there's any question about that. Now let's go back to Dasha. And her opponent already in the ring from Calabasas, California. Maddie Rankowski. Emmy Sakura made it all the way to the semifinals of the Women's Eliminator Tournament on the Japanese side, where... Oh, Maddie Rankowski coming out yeah. with a little aggression. Might want to keep your eye on your opponent. She was defeated by Yuka Sakazaki in that semifinal round. Oh, uh, nothing like a uh, little, little hair twist. Little hair beal. Hair snap man, <laughs> if you will. I think she came to the U.S. on a one-way ticket. Man, I, I think she came here with purpose, buddy. Oh! Wow! You know, this is my first time seeing her work in person. She's pretty aggressive. Sakura has been not only one of the great performers, but one of the great trainers out of Japan as well. Hikaru Shida, Riho, the former AEW Women's World Champion. Both of them, as a matter of fact, trained by Emi Sakura. Wow. Oh, my, oh my gosh. I don't know if that's a submission or not, but, well, she's not done yet. It sure looks uncomfortable. Man, really inventive, really creative by Sakura that time. And a warning of, by Bryce Rimsburg. And she let Bryce know she didn't have to you know, worry about pulling his hair. And forearm shots. Renkowski. I'll send her down by the hair face first here now. Big athleticism by Maddie Renkowski. That's a big high jump with a high split. We've seen a lot of Maddie Renkowski here from the state of Texas. Oh. Wow, that was in there. We will, we will rock. Well, you. she's always been a big fan of Freddie Mercury and of uh, Queen. Well, I'm a big fan of Freddie Mercury and Queen, too. Did you see the movie? Oh, oh yes, I did. Amazing talent. And we're looking at amazing talent in the ring here, too, in Emmy Sakura, double underhook. And picks her up. Oh, into a backbreaker, spinning backbreaker, and covers her one, two, and did not beat her with that yet. Wow, that really just looked like it jammed up Maddie Rankowski's back. Like she was, you know, feeling that instantly. Another big thunderous chop to the chest. You know, that's a kind of a big attack plan with a lot of our job. Oh, that's a chop followed up with a lariat. Wow, that's a good idea. Why didn't I ever do that? Mahi Straw Cradle into a dragon sleeper. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Good and that idea. is it, man. Yeah. That, she did an inside cradle and rolled through into a dragon sleeper, and she's still holding the dragon sleeper. She's Here's not letting it go. Here's your winner by submission, Emmy Sakura. 
Emi Sakura returns to AEW with a win over Matty Rinkowski. Kira Hogan has a huge opportunity tomorrow on Rampage. A huge opportunity in front of thousands of people. Thousands. A huge opportunity in Chicago. And she's been very impressive as of late on AEW, and she's been impressive. 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 Anybody can be a slight bit impressive. I'm impressive. You're impressive. Now, now who is Kiera? Well, she... E exactly. Nobody. Understand, I'm the star here. I don't give a damn what Kiera has done. And tomorrow night on Rampage, I'm going to show her why I am that bitch. Up next on Elevation and Tag Team Competition, Private Party. Oh my God, is that Private Party? The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy, and Mark Quinn. Private party! Well, as we head to what is going to be the biggest crowd ever to watch an AEW event tomorrow night. In Chicago at the United Center, here comes a team that's going to be a part of that event. And their opponents already in the ring, Will Alday and Edge Stone. Take a look at the size of Edge Stone, would you? And Will Alday is tag team partner. Well, you got to be impressed with this kid. The size of him, holy smokes. Yeah, absolutely. He looks like a big star. Got the big tattoos, big shoulders. Looks like some kind of athletic background. Might be a tough one for uh, Private Party. But then again, they have the they have the leech out there, Matt yeah, Hardy. The leech, big money, Matt Hardy. Well, he's definitely a he's a, a game changer and a a secret weapon in your pocket, if you will, or a secret weapon to get what's in your pocket. For Pri sure. Private party tomorrow night when we are in Chicago, the United Center, will face Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy in the Eliminator Tournament to determine which team will go back to Chicago at All Out September 5th to wrestle the Young Bucks in a steel cage for the World Tag Team title. What a event it's going to be tomorrow night. Don't forget, it's going to be live on TNT, the second Rampage. Live from the United Center, it's the first dance. And the world has been talking about that night. And we can't wait to get to Chicago tomorrow night. What a pretty big onslaught of offense being dealt out right now. Yeah. Will all day. It's caught in the corner here. Good move by the private party. That shows their tag team experience. Eliminate that partner off the apron. Isolate his oh. opponent. There's the leech. I don't know if that turned out like he thought it would. I tell you, the, the history between all oh, Jurassic Express and Private Party well documented, and a lot of history between, obviously, the man on the, the floor, Matt Hardy, as you see, directing traffic, and Christian Cage. Oh, wow, that rivalry is real deep. Yes, it is real deep. Watch out. The gin and juice. Oh, they got that done in a hurry. Here are your winners, Private Party. Private Party with some momentum, some momentum heading to tomorrow night's event at the United Center. Remember, it is all part of First Dance tomorrow night on TNT. Private Party against Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy in the Eliminator Tournament. Here we go!
Wednesday, August 25th. Don't miss this historic night as all your favorite AEW stars will ignite your passion for professional wrestling again as AEW Dynamite and Rampage invades the UWM Panther Arena. Wow! Kenny Omega, The Young Bucks, Miro, Dr. Britt Baker, plus John Moxley, Chris Jericho in the Inner Circle, MJF in the Pinnacle, Darby Allin, Sting, and many more headlines. What promises to be another epic AEW live event and you never know who might show up next. Will you be there live on Wednesday, August 25th when AEW debuts at the UWM Panther Arena? Up next on Elevation, our main event, Daniel Garcia goes one-on-one -on -one versus Matt Seidel. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way to the ring from Buffalo, New York, weighing 186 pounds, Daniel Garcia. All right, well, you gotta give Daniel Garcia a lot of credit. He made a statement this past Monday on, or this past Wednesday, I should say, on Dynamite. And now he and John Moxley will go at it one-on-one -on -one coming up Wednesday, live on Dynamite on TNT from Milwaukee. I've always been a big fan of Daniel Garcia ever since I first saw him out. Incredible intensity. The guy comes to the ring so focused, so laser sharp. So on Rampage, this Friday on TNT, it will be Moxley and Daniel Garcia. And his opponent from Clearwater, Florida, weighing 166 pounds, Matt Seidel. Well, Daniel Garcia better have his playbook ready right now because he's taking on one of AEW's extreme high flyers and seasoned veterans in Matt Seidel. That's right. Don't look ahead to the first dance at the United Center live this coming Friday. Look right ahead at your opponent, Matt Seidel, here. That's one thing Daniel Garcia has is that laser focus. I look at this kid's eye, he just looks like a fighter to me. You know, he's not about, you know, this big wild personality or playing with the crowd. This kid comes to fight every time. Garcia, obviously very brazen, very confident, and well he should be, what a talented kid. I want to remind you that Dynamite will be coming your way this Wednesday, the 25th, making our Milwaukee debut at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee Panthers Arena. And that'll be tickets on sale now at AWTIX and Ticketmaster. Nice aggressive lockup with Matt Seidel and, and uh, Daniel Garcia right there. They really locked up tight. Daniel Garcia grabbed that side headlock, tried to get some control. I see, you know, Matt Seidel trying to control the tempo here a little bit. Side headlock. Seidel sends him off. Garcia. Now Garcia is long, rangy. Yeah, that's a dangerous, that's dangerous territory for a wrestler. Sure it is. They got limbs to put you in submission holes. They can get out and reach you for strikes. Oh. Wow. T. Harris set him down that time. How about that arm whip takedown? You know, I'm gonna have to talk with Matt Seidel for stealing all my offensive moves. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a penalty flag for gimmick infringement. Back elbow that time. Boy, he really sunk that, that back elbow in there deep. Right back at you, says Daniel Garcia. Garcia, crucifix cross and got a, well, two count that time. Daniel trying to tie up Matt Seidel here. Interesting way to. Oh, wow, the bow and arrow. Flick pain on your opponent, the bow and arrow. He was saying, what does this hole do, Paul White? If not done correctly, it gets you in a pinning combination. That's what happens. It applies a lot of pressure to the lower back. Wait, Garcia. Get that lower back locked up. It makes it hard for the legs to work. Nice suplex. And as we anticipated a competitive main event here, and as we said earlier, Daniel Garcia, John Moxley, live on Rampage, where we're going to be in Chicago for the first dance at the United Center sold out. 10 o'clock Eastern time on TNT. That's going to be, I guarantee you, one of the biggest crowds Daniel Garcia has ever been in front of. You know, you're taking on John Moxley, one of AEW's best, and that United Center that's going to be sold out to the rim, and I've been in that building sold out, Tony. It gets loud. It's a legendary building. Anyone who has followed basketball, even followed hockey, 
knows that in the Chicago area. The United Center in the home of Rampage. And what a night it's going to be. Well, you see how Daniel set up between that and torqued that inner, inner quad muscle attaching to the hip, the hip flexor. Really tweaked that a little bit. That's going to be hard for Matt to get around. Looks like he got his knee a little bit on that. Nice European uppercut. Big forearm shiver right to the side of Matt Seidel's head. I'm telling you, this Daniel Garcia is tough, man. Rolled all the way through, smart on Daniel's part. Uh-oh, looks like a little, looks like Matt says, yeah, you can do that, so can I. Absolutely. Look at the pressure hooked on the chin, bowing that back. Right now, Daniel Garcia's legs are actually going numb with a curve on the spine like that. Oh. And a stomp for good measure. Love to see this. I love to see wrestlers improvise, change their strategies around. Well, sometimes you get inspiration from your opponent. You know, then you get a little of that, whatever you can do, I can do better. But those thunderous shots by Daniel Garcia were in there. Two count. That's what's so great about Matt Seidel. He can figure out an offensive maneuver anywhere. Wow. One, two, and new. Just that much body control. Backflip with a twist. To the attack again. Garcia slow to get to his feet, but right there to get him. I'm sure he just took a heck of an onslaught from Matt Seidel. You see how he grabbed the rope, braced himself, used that top rope for a leverage advantage. Oh, right on Matt Seidel's lower back. Wow, that's the kind of stuff that'll blow out a disc. Absolutely it will. L4, L5, go flying right up the side of your ankle. And you can tell right now, Paul, that Matt Seidel's in a world of trouble here. Sure Man, he, is. He, was, he was rolling around in the ring. He couldn't get to his feet, and boy, Daniel Garcia is making making sure that there's more punishment on the back. How about that, just rubbing the elbow, the point of the elbow, into your spine? I agree, Tony. Cover. Matt Seidel says, not today. That's what Daniel Garcia kids impressed me from the very first day he appeared on Elevation. He's got an intensity and a, an aggressiveness that I think is a little bit deceptive. People don't realize that sometimes until it's too late. This guy enjoys inflicting punishment. I mean, right now, he's got Matt Seidel in a horrible position. Right now, it's hard for Matt to open up his lungs, plus his shoulders oh, are getting man. pulled out of sight. That boot to the back of the neck, I mean, right now, even folding him up. Man, Garcia is vicious. And, buddy, you got to be vicious for Friday night, not looking past Matt Seidel at all, and you can't, but John Moxley coming up Friday night. This, on, without a doubt, Tony, yeah. is going to be the biggest match of Garcia's career. Yeah, I think so. You know, and I wish the young man a lot of luck, but man, he is stepping in there with a thunder horse and John Moxley. Well, that guy brings the thunder. He, he, he uh, threw the first shot across the bow this past Wednesday when we were here. Watch, look at that kick. Just that athleticism on Seidel, man. He's so athletic. Little matrix move. Leg lariat, spinning leg lariat that time. Found its mark. All that yoga conditioning from doing it with Mike Seidel. I still want to see Mike Seidel and DDP have a yoga off. Mm. I might be the only one interested in that, but I still want to see it. Here's a pickup by Matt Garcia. Standing switch that time and try to pick him up. Well executed. One, two. Two count, boy. I tell you, Garcia's tough, man. These two young men are pushing each other to the limit on this. Love to see it. Look at the face on Seidel. Yeah, the fans so, trying to get behind him there, Paul. Yeah, they're trying to get behind him, but Daniel Garcia, you know, D, DG is a little tough. He's not your uh, average opponent. Love those back leg front kicks, man. Yeah, Matt Seidel really knows how to crank the speed up on those. Yes. Ooh. Oh, right to the head. Wow. This could be it. One, two. The back leg front kick right to the head is what that was. You still see the core strength of Daniel Garcia to kick out of that pinning combination. Matt Seidel had that leg cranked back and was doggone near sitting on uh, Daniel Garcia's face. High risk maneuver. Tried a moonsault that time. 
Wow, that time, he, I, I think he hurt himself on the ropes. I think he sure did. I yeah. think he slipped on that rope. Might oh. have been some oil or something on the rope. Into a backbreaker. He did slip, and Garcia taking advantage of it. The reverse figure four. Maybe no, it's... That's a sharpshooter. A sharpshooter or a scorpion. Scorpion deathlock. Whatever you want. And he cranked wow, that Wow, is he cranking that? He leaned all the way back. Here's your winner by submission, Daniel Garcia. I'm telling you, this kid's mean. Right here, that backbreaker right across the knee. Watch him lean back here, Tony. All his body weight just cranking the limbs. I don't care how much yogi you do. That scorpion deathlock applied like that hurts. Tomorrow night on TNT, it's AEW Rampage Live, 10 o'clock Eastern. At 9 o'clock Central, you'll see a match in the Tag Team Tournament Eliminator. Jurassic Express will take on Private Party. Plus, Jade Cargill takes on Kiera Hogan. And John Moxley goes one-on-one -on -one against Daniel Garcia. That's tomorrow night on Rampage on TNT, 10 o'clock, 9 Central, live from the United Center, it's the first dance. I said before, I could have went to any company in the world that I wanted to go, but I chose AEW so I could get my hands on the best competition possible, and that's exactly what I got. I beat Matt Seidel on Elevation tonight, and I'm coming for the best people on this roster. So John Moxley, I've been watching you for years, and I know that you don't know a thing about me, and I would never expect you to. But just because you've been around the world, winning the richest titles, winning all the matches for the past however many years, your bones break the same, and your muscles will tear the same. In our rampage after I beat you, I promise you that you will have no question in your mind about who Daniel Garcia is. Tomorrow on TNT, it's the much-anticipated television event from the sold-out United Center in Chicago. In front of the largest crowd in AEW history, there's only one first dance. Darby Allen is so close to becoming the best in the world! AEW Rampage, live tomorrow at 10 on TNT.